Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you load stored instructions into our microcontroller. Load stored instruction transfers data between memory and processor registers. There is a resistor and then there is of course a memory. So we have especially the two types of resistors. The load type of instructions loads the data from the memory into the registers and the store type of instructions store the data from register into the memory. So it has a multiple versions such as a single register transfer and a multiple register transfer which is very useful while accessing a memory in a large number of address. So the first we are going to discuss here a single register transfer in a single register transfer it loads only a single register or store a single register into the memory or loads from the memory it has a fairly very simple syntax the syntax of single register transfer instructions are as follows it has LDR which shows that the load data from the register uh, from the register address and then it has a condition which is optional and then it says that whether we want to load a single byte that's only the 8 bit or we want half word or we want uh, signed half word and uh, then there is address rd and then addressing mode ok so this is addressing mode I'll tell you about this addressing mode and the similarly we have a str that's the store register data into the memory and then we have a condition optional condition and here half word and then rd and then finally once again we have a addressing type ok so there are many type of addressing mode present into our microcontroller such as pre-index with write back, pre-index and the post-index. So the first one is pre-index. With write back and another we have only pre-index and the third one we have a post-index. So these are the three type of in uh, addressing mode presents into our microcontroller. We will discuss that later. Let's first uh, see what are the other load store instructions are available into this our microcontroller, and those instructions, uh, those instructions, th those instructions are LDR. we have str we have ldrb we have strb we have ldrh strh we have here ldrsb we have here ldrsh LD LDR SH so this is this LDR is a normal LDR instruction which loads destination register 
with the 32 bit memory okay and this is this is a, a normal stored store instruction which stores this rd that's the destination register into the 32 bit uh, 32 bit address memory uh, which could be the aligned into let's say 8 bit so it could be 0 1 2 and the 3 that's the total 4 byte of memory and here this is the LDRB that's a single byte only that means either this one or this one or this one or this one so this stands for only a single byte and the similarly here this is stores only a single byte into the memory and here we have LDR half word so this says that the half word and the half word stands for a 16 bit and the 16 bit stands for 2 byte and this 2 byte out of 4 byte of this memory this can store either this one or this one or this one and the this one I mean 1 and the 2 so these two one time can be loaded into RD and the similarly into the STRH STRH can store this RD into half word the half word that means this 2 byte and similarly we have here LDRSB that is load signed byte into the register so what it do it do a sign extension so this is that the sign byte load 8 bit that's mean the RD would be loaded from sign extended 8 bit memory space okay and the similarly here this is LDRSH which will load the RD into signed extended 8 bit memory space that's the single byte only or we can say only one byte let's try to understand this with an example and here we have an example so we are going to load register R0 with the content of the memory address pointed by the register R1 so that can be written like this LDR R0 and R1 so this says that R0 will be loaded from the memory 32 is bit space that means the 4 byte of the data from the memory and the address should be given from uh, address should be taken from the content of R1 register right so let's say you have a memory space like this and this memory starts from 0x0008 0, 0, 0, 0, let's say and then we have here these 4 byte okay so in this case and uh, let's say in the same way we have r1 is equal to 0x008 0, 0, 0, the content of r1 then the content of this 0th byte 1 2 and the 3 so this 4 byte data would be loaded into register r0 as a content of as a content from these memory locations that is from 0 1 2 and 3 and the similarly suppose that these are the another memory storage okay and uh, now we want to store this data and let's say it has 0x007 0x006 0x005 0x004 and we have 0x003 kind of this and let's say if we see here if we say here r2 is equal to 0x004 and if we write an instruction which says that str 
R0 at the memory location of the R2 and earlier we have found out that the uh, we have loaded uh, R0 with the address which is pointed by this R1 register and now we are storing this R0 content into the address which is pointed by this R2 register and the address of this one is here which starts from here that's when the content of R0 would be loaded into here first LSB and then that's let's say the zeroth then one two and here R0 MSB will be loaded into the higher bit if it is a little Indian okay if the memory is little endian otherwise into the big endian it will be just opposite to this one so this is all about in this video which in which we have learned about single register transfer and uh, we will take care about the indexing such as pre-indexing with write back and the post indexing and the pre-indexing without write back into the next tutorial and we have learned here how to load and the store into half word and into a full word and even from a single byte with the signed extended also so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updated directly